Hi guys, so it is that time again to start another 30 in 30 where I try to finish 30 products in 30 days and since June is almost upon us I decided to upload my intro video for this project. Um, in my last round I did all skincare um, this round I have perfume, some hair care, body and skincare. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in and share with you what I picked, starting with sort of body and hair care. Um, the only hair care item I actually do have is this can of uh, texturizing spray from um, Charles Worthington. They don't make this anymore. I recently purchased one from VO5 that does a similar job, so I just want to finish off the rest of this can. I have two exfoliators. One is a sample sachet from Sanctuary Spa. This is the ultimate salt scrub and it's it's a pretty decent sized sachet. I think this might be um maybe two bodies worth, maybe. We'll see. Um and I also have the exfoliating scrub from Clarins and this one has bamboo powder in it and it's really really nice. I think I might have another tube of this somewhere or it might be another tube of body lotion, I can't remember which but I really really enjoy this stuff. Next up is a whole bunch of moisturizing products. I have two hand lotions. We have the Lockitan, um, just their basic hand cream I think it is. It's the one that always comes free with a magazine and I also have one from Clarence. It's their hand and nail cream so I want to get them to moisturize my hands more. I have this tub of um, I believe Brazil. Yes Brazil nut body butter which I actually have been using as foot cream because I don't have a decent foot cream and I can't find a decent foot cream so I know a lot of people don't like to talk about feet but if you can recommend me a really nice intensive hydrating specific foot cream I would love that. Until then I'm using all my old body butters as foot cream so yeah. Um, I have this sample well travel size of the Derma Spa body cream from Dove. This was from my hospital bag which, um, did I, no I didn't even open this. Oh, it smells lovely though. Oh, that's very lightweight. It does smell yummy. Mm, I think I might enjoy that. So, Derma Spa in goodness cubed. That's what the little three means, isn't it? Cubed? Goodness cubed. <laughs> Um, firming body butter from Palmer's, the Lipicure Balm from La Roche-Posay. Um, this is a fairly newish bottle but I can go through one of these really quickly. I've just had these three sitting around for too long. Um, the Lipicure Balm and um, about half tube of the Glycolic Fix Body Cream. These three together work wonders for fading stretch marks amazingly well. Um, this one has the glycolic which helps exfoliate skin. This helps add hydration and plump up the skin and this is um, helps with like elasticity and everything with your skin. It helps, um, helps with the resurfacing process after the exfoliation. So yeah. And lastly in the body care hair care category is this bottle of Early Harvest Raspberry Shower Gel from The Body Shop. I haven't shopped in The Body Shop in I want to say two years now. It's been a while which is why I'm using the body lotion the body butters up as foot lotion. So this is about almost halfway down so I just want to get this guy used up and out of the way. As I mentioned, there are a few perfumes I would like to work through. I did actually uncover all of the samples 
from my um, product perfume, which was a good while ago. Um, I think I started that in like May last year, possibly, and during the move I misplaced everything. Um, but I have uncovered the sample size perfumes. So these are the four that were in an Estee Lauder set. We have a little sample of Modern Muse. This one is beautiful. We have the Aromatics in white and the Estee Lauder Pleasures. Cute little baby bottles, but they do take up space. So let's get them cleared out. As for actual skincare, I have two tubes of the Hydration Burst Dual Action Cleanser. This is the stuff I go on about all the time. It's a cleansing oil in sort of like a gel paste. Amazing stuff. It just happens that both these tubes are open and there are varying degrees of being done. So I would like to just work through them and get them finished up. There will be a few repeats in this section from the last project. I know it's a bit of a swizzle, but if I don't focus on them, I'm not gonna finish them. Like this guy, I've, I've kind of drifted away and started using bigger and other <laughs> face washes. So the Clinique liquid facial soap, there's like maybe like a couple of days worth left in there. I don't know why, I just didn't finish it up. I just, I just didn't. We have the rinse off foaming cleanser, which I didn't actually get a lot of use of out of the last round. Same with the seven day scrub from Clinique. I'm gonna try and get that finished up. And there's still a bit left in the one stop gentle exfoliating cleanser from Clarins because I don't like this product. Like I like it, but I don't like it. So if I don't have any product, I'm not gonna focus on it. I'm not gonna use it. So that is the plan there. And oh, I've got this sample of the two-in-one cleansing exfoliator, exfoliating cleanser, sorry, from Clinique. It's their Pep Start one. So this, this will be interesting to try out. I have two masks, both from Clans. We have the hydrating cream mask, Hydroquench cream mask, which I know they've come out with some new hydrating products lately. There's like an eye balm and a lip balm. I don't know if they've come up with a new face mask or not, but I really like this stuff. And every time, almost every time I've gotten a gift with purchase from clients, there's been a sample of this guy in there. So yeah, I've never had to pay for it yet. Um, and this is the extra firming mask from Clarins. I have one serum and this is the Nip Fab Glycolic Fix Serum. Um, I really want to get back into doing my serums properly. I want to alternate this one between this one and the one that's actually currently in my night time skin routine, which is the Q10 Plus C. It's just I happen to have two of these open and I want to get them finished up because I've had them for a while. So it's, you know, yeah. I just want to get them finished up, right? Um, and then I have two oils. This is the May Lindstrom Skin Use Dew. Um, this was a gift with purchase. Um, it was something with Cult Beauty. If you spent X amount of money, you got this big goodie bag full of amazing products and amazing isn't word. This oil is hella expensive. I wanna say it's like 90 pounds, could be more. So um, I didn't pay for it but I want to get as much use out of it as I possibly can because it's so extravagant. And then we have the cheapy cheapy rosehip oil from Botanics. And lastly, I have some sprays. We have the rose water toning spritz from Botanics from last time. There's still a little bit in here. It's deceptive. It's really deceptive. Um, I have the vitamin E refreshing toning mist from Superdrug, which you can see is almost almost gone and I have the Vichy Eau Thermale water spritz. So those are the 30 products that I'm hoping to finish up in June. I know there's 30 this time. There was a, a, 
I, I had myself all over the place last time thinking I was forgetting a product and really I hadn't counted right in the first place. Um, but yeah, those are the three products I'm going to be focusing on in June and I will be doing weekly updates like last time. Um, there won't be an update until the second Sunday in June because the first Sunday in June I believe is like maybe the 3rd or the 4th of June so you know I want to give it a little bit longer before I do an update properly and yeah uh, wish me luck uh, let me know if you've tried any of these products um, if there's any tips or tricks you want to share with me and I will see you in the first update thank you so much for watching and bye bye